Hello. Wow. Uh, we have literally minutes ago gotten back from travelling. We've been in Australia for a couple of weeks and we were blessed enough to have been given a trip on the Genting Dream cruise ship, uh, that wonderful trip given to us by Resorts World. And as we've been back just for a few minutes, literally walked through the door, I'm still in my t-shirt, um, everything kind of got frantic at home just for a moment with kids trying to figure out what to do, immediately they're home, they immediately say they're bored. Um, we still haven't unpacked from Australia, we got back from Australia on Wednesday at about 4am and then later that morning we left to get onto the cruise and so it's all just a bit hectic, our bags are unpacked and I thought I'll just take a moment because we all get that feeling when we come home from a big trip um, that we kind of had the post-holiday decompression, I don't want to call it the post-holiday blues because I don't think we're feeling low, we just have that moment of I don't know, um, unsettledness, even though we're home where we should be most settled. And so, <clears throat> I don't know whether this is going to be a few top tips or a few thoughts. I'm going to start with top tips. Top tip number one, uh, if that's okay, I think would be um, before we left Australia, we washed as much of our clothing as possible. Um, that was a really, really nice thing to do because in our bags right now is a bunch of clean clothes that we can just put straight into the cupboard. Um, unpacking is going to take a really, really long time. We're not going to have to put everything into the wash um, and then do all the drying and you know everything that feels like a chore uh, when we first get home. I think that's a really important thing to do. Um, I think it's um, good to just wind down. We as parents are pretty strict about screen time with our kids. Um, and so um, our initial thought when we got home uh, is no screens kids, go to the toys that you've missed out on over the last two and a half weeks um, and that's working well, it takes a little bit of resistance first because they're like yeah but we haven't had screens for the last two weeks either and it's true um, but I think it's good to be able to um, remind them of the things that they have got um, <clears throat> which is good. Um, lunch is in a little while, oh hang on a minute, I was going with tips was nice. So tip number one, wash your clothes before you come back from holiday, that's a great tip. Uh, it makes packing away really, really easy. Number two, take a moment to appreciate all the things at home that you haven't had for the last two and a half weeks. For me, I love this bit where I'm sitting right now, and I was just, actually, this is our bedroom balcony, we're incredibly lucky. Um, we live in a condo, um, I feel so blessed to be able to be living here. Um, when the taxi dropped us off from um, our cruise just now, um, we usually would take the taxi all the way down into the car park, which gives us a lift, which brings us up to our, uh, our apartment where we are here. However, um, I asked them to drop us off at the taxi drop-off, which forced us to walk through our condo, which has a swimming pool. Um, we walked past the pool and you know we've had this incredible time um, on the cruise over the last two days where we could swim at any time we want. But we forget that actually we can do that when we're at home. And I know, um, like I said, I know that we're in a very, very fortunate position to be um, able to have our own pool. Um, but there are things like that for everybody that you have at home, things that you take for granted. Um, <coughs> I've got a coffee machine. I'm going to go and make myself a coffee in a moment and then sit out here in my favourite spot in the house and just chill out for a little while, enjoying uh, my time and my space. My kids are going to be enjoying their Lego that they haven't been able to bring along for a long time. Their pets who've been looked after by um, our amazing friend Laura for the last um, couple of weeks. And they're going to see and spend time with the hamster and, and the terrapins um, because they haven't had that chance the last two weeks. And, and, and try to savour all the things that we love about our home. So that's tip number two. So tip number one was wash your stuff before you come home. Makes unpacking really easy. Number two is enjoy the things at home that you haven't been able to enjoy for the last few weeks while you've been traveling. Tip number three is um, go through your photos. I know we, we YouTubers, right? So we um, have a load of footage to go through and that's what I'll be doing um, in a little while. But go through your holiday photos look at what you've enjoyed over the last two weeks and appreciate. I think um, being grateful is one of the best things about my life, about our life, Millie and I. Um, we live incredibly grateful lives. So um, 
it means that we don't we try not to take anything for granted and um, so to be able to look and reflect on what has been an amazing trip is a great thing to do as well so those are three tips I don't know if I've got any more I'm going to give, give you some thoughts um, about how I'm feeling about our last couple of tri uh, our last couple of weeks um, and if any more tips appear I'll share them with you um, so tip number one was to you've got it well done I've forgotten it wash your stuff before you uh, come home tip number two um, was to enjoy what you have at home that you haven't had for a little while. Tip number three is to reflect uh, on your on your holiday through your photos, through whatever posts you put on Instagram or whatever it is that you do with your film stuff. Um, yeah, so those are the, the top three tips. Oh, it's been an amazing couple of weeks. Um, I am very lucky um, that we have, well I have um, a couple more weeks, two more weeks before I need to be at work. Um, as a teacher, this is my big chunk of holiday um, for the year, and so we have got very, very loose plans um, over the next two weeks. The big thing I'm going to be doing is trying to take as much opportunity as possible to meet up with people, to spend some time and say hello. Um, actually, um, by the time this video goes out, I'll already be back at work and everything will be fly flowing at a million miles an hour. But what I was about to say was if you watch this video and you'd like to meet up for a coffee or something like that, Singapore's tiny and we're very very uh, good at making new friends and so do drop us a message, um, drop us an email, I'm very happy to grab a coffee, say hello, meet some people, um, we're not shy about that, there's no celebrity um, about this YouTube channel, it's just um, a bunch of normal people who um, share their lives with, with, with the world. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and meet up with a, a load of people over the next couple of weeks and, and, and be a friend um, and to take advantage of my friends as well um, and, uh, and spend some time with them. Um, but then um, while we've been away, obviously, um, I said our friend Laura was looking after our place. Um, we um, tidied everything, obviously, <laughs> so that she had a nice place to stay um, and because it's always nice to be able to come home to a tidy home. And she has kept her house beautifully and it tidied everything too um, after she and her family have used um, our apartment for the last couple of weeks. So um, we're going to try and stay on top of the tidiness. Actually, if you haven't washed everything um, and you've just got home and for some reason you logged onto this video, don't worry if you haven't already done it and you can't think to yourself, oh, I never washed all my stuff before I came home. Um, while you're washing your things, take this as an opportunity to repack. Uh, reorganize your wardrobe um, or your bedroom I think that would be good too <laughs> uh, we um, have got a couple of things planned over the next couple of days um, and we are going to um, be doing a couple of activities uh, tomorrow we're on Sentosa doing something really really special that we're going to be sharing with you in the next couple of weeks too um, and we've got a few other things coming up. We're hoping to be able to take the kids on another cycling tour of Singapore that we did a, uh, about two years ago and they loved it. They've been pestering us for that again um, and so we're going to see if we can do that. Um, and then we are going to be back into the mix of uh, fully working life. Millie's got a brand new um, business that's going to be starting in August which is only two weeks away. So that'll be really, really fun too. Um, and so life is about to get crazy. <laughs> and so we've got two weeks just to breathe, to recuperate, to make sure that we are um, well rested for the next season, um, which we know is going to be full, um, but full of love and life and enjoyment. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Those are three great tips for you, uh, three tips that I'm going to try and do myself in the next few moments, the next couple of hours and for now I'm going to go make myself coffee and sit out here and just chill out but as always please like, subscribe, um, we really appreciate your support of our channel uh, and uh, we will see you next time, see you later.